Hello, today we want to talk about band steering. So band steering is it's a Wi-Fi feature that helps client devices to connect to a better frequency band, uh, typically going from 2.4 to 5 gigahertz. Uh, it doesn't apply to 6 gigahertz from going from 5 to 6. It's not called band steering, but there is an application that works that way. So why would we do that? Well, let's take a look at this S network. Often, you can see on this guest network, I've got 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz broadcasting on all fours. And really wouldn't want to have them moving to different SSID if they were on 2.4 and 5. So typically, we just combine them. And see here, it's broadcasting on 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz. And then uh, it says that compatible clients will be notified to move to a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band to improve network performance. I used to have a percentage of devices that could move to five gigahertz, but they've done away with that. If the device is capable of moving to five gigahertz, it'll do some things. Some people call it nudging or pushing or whatever device to the five gigahertz. What happens is that the, the way that, that it steers the behavior uses the information that is sent from the client to the access point in the form of a probe request or perhaps a, an association request or response. So if someone's coming into the network, since 2.4 is a stronger, seen as a stronger signal, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a larger wavelength. It's usually the one that's picked up first. And then as I move closer and closer to the access point, then five gigahertz should have a stronger RSSI. And then what would happen is in order for the access point to steer the client to the to the uh, gigahertz spectrum, it would not respond as quickly in 2.4. So if the client is sending a uh, an association request or uh, in, or information back to the access point, it's going to not respond 2.4. And so the client will be like, well, where did it go? <laughs> and so then it would look to the five gigahertz spectrum, see that there's a stronger, more throughput on, on five gigahertz, and then attempt to move to five gigahertz, right? And it would do that since it's already associated and authenticated to the network. It does it without requiring the client to re-authenticate. It just moves them. Since the access point is operating as a BSS, it's cached that the credentials. And so it's just going to move him to five gigahertz. As the signal becomes stronger, then, then it's going to it's going to try to move it. So my advice is for networks that need to have 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz all broadcasting. Go ahead and make sure that band steering is turned on. It'll help your networks. Sometimes we just need a 2.4 gigahertz network, like IoT devices, and it would probably be good to have those off your network. So create a different SSID for IoT devices. That would be my recommendation, and then they can just stay in 2.4. You don't even have to give it an IoT name. It's, they're not going to be able to see the 5 gigahertz network anyhow if they're only 2.4 capable. So use band steering when you have a network that you're going to have throughout your coverage area that's going to be broad 0.45. All right. Thank you.